Right, here we are, we're out again. Uh, there's a bit of a wind kicking around here. I hope it's not affecting this too much. If it does, I'll just have to overdub it uh, later on. But uh, we are at a mid uh, Wormit Pier. It's not where I want it to be. I actually wanted to be at Newport. Newport on Tay, just for, uh, about a mile down the coast. But there's no, absolutely nowhere to park or anything, so I'll give that a buy and come up here. It's quiet up here. Uh, last time I was up here, I caught a few, a few flatties and a couple of trout, so... Ah, well, <laughs> let's see what happens. Anyway, we're up here. It's quiet. It's, as I say, it's a bit of a wind. The water's kind of flat at the moment. Uh, the wind's meant to change direction later on, so we'll see. It may rain. It may actually snow, because I can tell, but believe me, it's cold out here. Uh, the weatherman said it was going to get warm, but uh, he's lying through his teeth. Just looking around the hills, there's snow in the hills. That tells you how cold it is down here. So I'm actually, I'm, my fingers are numb. So, here we are anyway. Uh, what, will, what do we expect to catch here? Well, uh, basically flatfish. Uh, flounders, dab, place. Uh, maybe it's odd sea trout. Maybe coal fish are kicking around. Uh, but that's basically it. We're actually straight across from Dundee, a couple of miles across the river from Dundee, so uh, not far away from home. I didn't have much petrol, and uh, so I just come over here. I will get further <laughs> further afield, believe me. I'll get I'll get out. But uh, here we go anyway. Uh, we're using mackerel, uh, herring, nice little herrings. I'm trying these, <laughs> the black lug. They were from last week. Defrosted, frozen again and then defrosted again, so we'll see what they do. <laughs> Don't hold out much hope. And we're using blue. If it ever thaws out, I'll use it. So here we are anyway. Uh, it's about an hour and a half till low tide. Oh, wish I had a heater. Wish I had a telly lamp. Oh, just the thing for this kind of weather. And I've had to weigh down the camera with, with the pond and a half of lead just to make sure it doesn't fall over. I nearly went over earlier with the wind, but uh, we'll see what happens. So here we are. See how the weather holds out and we'll hopefully catch a few fish. So we'll, I've, I've already baited up, so I'll get around to, get around to casting get coffee because my fingers are numb. Right, here we go. Right, we'll go, go away and cast out. It's not easy to cast a multiplier when your fingers are numb and your thumb's frozen. You can't feel a thing. But uh, here we go anyway.
that, did, that first cast didn't go as planned. Ah, bad not in the weight. It's always, it's always a good idea to check them. I checked them this morning, it seemed alright. I was slipped, so there's now a weight out there. And I've also got a little bird's nest. So, going to have fun for the next wee while. Great stuff. That's fishing for you. Okay, so now we've got it all sorted out. A new wee, new knots. Uh, got the bird's nest out as well. So let's get this one in the water. Now we're fishing, <coughs> and now I'm going to get a cup of coffee before uh, I give you a show around. Oh, man alive, it's cold. Where's that weather man? I'm going to hang him. Hey, here we are. I'll give you a look around uh, the pier and whatnot, where we're actually fishing. Um, I'm having to overdub this because of the wind. We're uh, on warm it Wormit Pier, this is actually part of Wormit Boating Club. You can actually launch a boat from here at a cost, but I don't know what the cost is, I'm afraid. Uh, this is uh, the area next to where we're fishing. It's rocks, it's cobbles, it's also mud, and that mud is uh, not a good idea to walk in. You could throw a stone in it and it would disappear, so there's little chance it'll take your weight. Uh, so, stay out of it if possible. And over, or just around this corner here, there's uh, Wormit Bay. Uh, that's the same as this, it's co mainly cobbles and with a lot of mud, which means that certain parts of the tide, tide you can't actually fish it because you can't actually reach the water. So, be careful of that one. We're looking at the T Rail Bridge there. This is where we're actually fishing, off, just off the edge of the pier here. And just across the water, there's Dundee. Just about a mile and a half across the water, actually. And we're zooming into there. Uh, well, we tried to zoom in, but the zoom's not working too well in this camera. That's where we was fishing last time, just by the discovery point. The wee building with the dome on top. It's a bit cloudy, the sun's trying to come out, but it's wasting its time. And down there you can see the Taylor Ro Road Bridge with the harbour. Oh, by the way, we'll have a look onto the hills. There's snow! That's why it's cold. If there was snow down here, I might have built a snowman on the pier. That would be good fun. Give me something to do. But uh, <laughs> there we go. There's the Tay road, road Bridge at the back of which is the harbour. You see a couple of oil rigs sitting in there. Uh, down there is uh, Newport on Tay, place where I originally wanted to fish but couldn't. Where I would have fished would have been in front of those uh, flats you can see just down there. But uh, the people that live in the flats have got parking bays and there's also a hairdresser down there. So it's not all the time you can actually park down there. That's why I gave it a miss. I, there was no spaces so I came up here. And this side is the same as the other side of the pier. It's rocky, it's stony. And it's also very muddy. And the black line you can see is uh, the marker where the tide reaches. So if you're fishing amongst the rocks, you'll get taken up into the trees, making it hard to fish. 
and there we are back at where we're fishing and uh, living on hope of catching a few fish. There we go. 20 minutes in, my first fish. Uh, nice, nice fish under. And if anybody says you can't freeze black lug and use it again, you can. That black lug's been frozen, defrosted, frozen, and defrosted again. And it catches fish. Good stuff. There we go. Nice, nice little seat out. I thought it was heavier than that, but it's actually a pile of pile of weed with a rock attached. So <laughs> it did feel a bit, a fair bit heavy. But uh, nice one. Another little flounder. Uh, at least we've got two fish. It makes it all worthwhile.
Well, here we go. Another flounder. The bigger this time. A bit of coloration there. Quite. Don't know why. You may see on the photo that they, on the film that they're actually spotted. They look, they look like police, but they are not. They are actually flounders. Crossbreeders, I think. Yeah, well, such is life. It's a fish. Right, so we've reached that stage in the tide. It's uh, now low tide. Uh, and I think I've done not too bad. Three three flounders in a, a sand, a BC trip. So it's actually better than I expected, having moved from where I originally wanted. So, yeah. So looking forward to a few more fish. This could, could turn out to be quite a good day. Quite a good sesh. Hopefully get into double figures. Well, we live in hope. There we go, another, another little flounder. I certainly like the black lug. Nice. And again it's on the worm.
having a bit of problem with the weed just now. It's just a small, small stuff that get tightly wrapped around your mind. But all the same, it's still got you such. And there's another little flinter. <laughs> They're still there. Well, that's a uh, half tide. Warmer, if anything, it's getting cold and late. The sun was trying to come out earlier on, but the clouds just gathering and then kind of looks like rain over there. So, uh, we're still here though, and we're still sort of catching fish. Uh, up till now, we've had seven flounders and uh, one small sea trout. So it's not too bad. Uh, after the start, I had this uh, earlier on, I thought, oh, get quite a few fish, but uh, it's not happened that way. But at least we're getting them. And it's still about three hours, four hours of time to go. At least on this side, you can actually fish the tide once it turns. Uh, and across the other side, uh, Dundee, when the tide turns, you go over and rush by. Here is general beach so the water doesn't come down with the same kind of power. So you can't add it for this uh, when the turn turn it died. So we'll see. Uh, yep, that's about it. I've just been speaking to a boy from the Shore Angler Forum. Uh, oh recognize you. Oh yeah. I'm getting more famous in the tea. There we go, another, another little flounder. All seem to be a bit small size. That's gonna be fine. Sorry, it's kinda of hard to keep on doing.
are getting smaller. What's happening? in the boat. Another small flounder. I'm going to watch it gets a bit warmer and a bit more near the summer we get what wants. Yeah. Normally at this time I would be giving the last talk but uh, when I seen the video it was just too much wind, it was too bad to put up so I'm just giving, uh, giving the talk over. Uh, at this time it was three quarters of an hour till low tide and uh, um, as I said, I was given up. It's, I've been frozen all day. It was cold when I started and I couldn't get warm at all, even with all my coffee. <laughs> so that was it. I ended up with 11 flounder, one sea trout, which was uh, pretty good going. I, I never mentioned the traces I was using. One was two hook paternoster, one was the three hook paternoster. Uh, but uh, yes, that. They certainly caught the fish, so can't complain. So until next time, tight lines.